that there's supposed to be a trail or not. But it's bare and rock. It's so reasonably easy. Oops. See, there's some ice right ahead of me. I'm not sure if this is going to work out very well at all. It's the ironic part of hiking around like this. The higher you are, the better view you have. But the farther you have to fall, which obviously I don't want to do. Okay, I'm gonna stop right here. Take a look around. So here's that trench. My the trail-ish is over here. You know what? Let me go back up here a second. Yeah, see, I could get out right here. All right. Oh wow. Hello. Okay. Okay, huh. got some nice green moss there. No sign of bats. This time of year, I wouldn't expect bats to be this close to an entrance, but I had to check. Anyway, so where was I? Oh yeah, so the point is there's snow ahead. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get through here or not, or whether it's gonna be a good idea to even try. It's not too steep. See, the tricky part about these rocks, you don't know how far, how big is the gap in between. For all you know, there's a 20 foot deep chasm here. All right, but you know what? Looks like I'm gonna make it alive. So here I am. Notice though, there's some really Slippery ice here. What's ironic, there's no ice formations, like icicles or anything fancy like that. Just boring old smooth ice. Alrighty then. Well, that was too much fun. <laughs> uh, excuse me. So notice ahead, there's natural light. That's why they call this a natural bridge instead of a K. Also notice there's light to the right and to the left so it's like a, a big pillar ahead now remember the road on top of us um it's only like what one lane wide obviously this bridge is a lot bigger than that so if this entrance was right next to the road that means if i come out the other side i'm going to be nowhere near the road so if i remember right there is a trail back the other direction from up here but i'm going to try to make the loop and go back the way i came See how it goes. I got time. It's only like noon 30 right now. So of course, I guess normal people never say that. They would say 12 30 p.m. But whatever. You get the, You can see it's dozens of feet wide. 20 feet tall. Bigger too to the left, but I'm gonna stay to the right. So here I go. Wow, this is pretty. See, this is the kind of thing with all these entrances, you want to come here different times a year, different times a day. So sometimes this light will be behind you, sometimes the light will be behind you, sometimes there'll be bright light, sometimes not so much light. In fact, for the best video, it'd actually be better to come here either at night or maybe when it's really, really cloudy outside. But the thing is, I'm not coming at night. I sleep nights. And yeah, it's not really cloudy here that often. If it is cloudy, it's gonna be raining or snowing. I don't wanna be driving around here in the snow. I sure as heck don't wanna be hiking around here in the snow. You saw how. Okay. So look at this. There's the way forward. Let me pan down a bit, if it'll let me. Okay, so there's the way forward. 
there's the way I came. About 15 feet in diameter. Nice big. That's why it's officially easy. You come here in the summer when there's no snow. Yeah, it's a bit of a boulder crawl, but once you, you know, pay attention, maintain your three points of contact, no big deal. So there's the way forward. I don't remember how far this goes, if it's a dead end or what. And yes, I have a map, but not with me. It's in my car. Anyway. Wow, look how steep it is. No sign of bats yet. But, whoa. The floor is a bit slippery. Loose rock and gravel. Looks like I'm heading for a very dead end. But we'll see how it goes. way back there, but I'm not sure how far. See, when the cave is this steep, you have to be careful, not if your feet, but also if your uh, head. They seem, looking ahead, there's plenty of headroom. Looking back behind me, my head's like right next to the ceiling. So I've got to make sure, keep that in mind. Yeah. Yeah, looks like I did end. All that work for nothing. <laughs> All right, well, I need the exercise. Anyway, look at all this stuff here. Some kind of rat nest, pack rat nest. Darn if I know. Man. As you can see, it's sloping down almost like a 35 or 45 degree angle. You know, I don't remember what that is in radians. It's funny how you learn radians. It makes so much more sense than degrees. But then you stop using radians and you forget all about it. Just like the temperature. I used to know all about Kelvins, but I'm still back to using degrees Fahrenheit. You know, degrees Fahrenheit is like a stupid way to measure temperature <laughs> whatever it works doesn't it alrighty then wow this cave is kind of small don't you think <laughs> okay I want to show you something here when I get a good vantage point The thing is the ceiling's nice and tall here, so I can watch the floor. I don't have to worry about the ceiling that much. Alright, here we go. So check it out. That's the way I came in the side passage I just took. There's another way back. There's another tube over there. And there's a nice big fat entrance here. I'm gonna go ahead and stay to the right. Now if I remember right, there aren't any more caves to the right. So I probably won't go very far up this entrance. Oh yeah, look how steep it is. Oh, you know what? If I remember right, there is at least one more cave. Look at this. This is scary. There's loose rocks up there. You can go underneath it, like a bridge, but doesn't it look like it's barely 